I don't know. I didn't okay. know. Don't. What, what would you do? What I do? Yeah. I come here. I miss you so much. I miss you. I'm talking about how long did you wait outside? I'm, I come here about 12. 12. Mm -hmm. And it's. I not see you, but. It's 5 o'clock now. So what? how long you been out here waiting? I come here. I am. The guy, that skinny man, he said to me that you go outside. And I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. I want to see How you. many hours did you wait? I come here on 12. Okay, what time is it now? I don't know. I think almost. It's six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yes. I sit there. I look on the road. Where are you? Where are you? I, I miss you so much. I miss you. <laughs> You you love to see this type. Hey, all I I don't know what type of situation this is. I don't know if it's the side chick, the main girl. I don't know what's going on in this situation. All I gotta say is you love to see this type of stuff only because this is uh, if this is real anyway. If this is like okay, marriage type or this is real serious girlfriend type. You love to see this type of stuff only because. And the only reason I say that now, this woman, this lady is definitely older. But the only reason I say that is because the generation that we do live in now, it's all about other people. Trust me when I tell you, <laughs> I know it's real, but it's very, very, I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen a woman act like that and still have somebody else to run back to. Because those genuine emotions like that, like they miss them and they, they want to be with them. They're waiting outside for five hours or six hours to go see them or to wherever they're going to be. Trust me when I tell you, they don't got no other dude that they can go back to if they're doing shit like that. Because if they did have another dude to go back to, they ain't going to be waiting outside five hours just for you to get out of work or get out of wherever you're coming out from, man. It's crazy. What's going on? It's your boy Webb back in with another video. Today we're going to take a look at just... I want to say just if if you have this now she's obviously sprung but if you have this and you really like the girl in these type of situations you have to understand what you got and so if, if you're willing I'm just gonna keep it real because this is how you destroy a woman and a man for that sake for but I'm biased so I'm we're speaking specifically about women this is how you destroy a woman is if she feels this type of affection towards you and you you have no real true feelings for her you don't think you're going to be with her long term you don't think you're going to marry her i'm not saying you have to marry her but you don't think she's going to be anything significant in your life and she feels this way and you leave her or you drop her and especially depending on the way that you leave her and drop her like if you just ghost her or if you just straight up like tell her like you know putting all the baggage on her like oh this this and that and i want to be with you this and that or just straight up ghost her and drop her understand this is how you scorn a woman and this is how you make them resentful and this is how you make them just pure evil if i'm being honest with you now this is not the situation in the case for all women but for most of the time especially with these new age girls out here especially these new age young girls out here that's exactly how you do it not only that you could always get pushback and fire back repercussions right away when the type where they'll bust your windows out slash your tires set your house on fire type like that's the reality of the situation here so understand if you have a girl like this and this is the way that she feels about you and you do not think you do not think you're gonna have any type of long term or she's not gonna be any type of significance in your life you need to let her go like you because this is dangerous man i mean so be it play the odds and see what happens because it's dangerous the biggest thing is it's dangerous They'll, they'll slash your tires. That'll be the type to run into you with their car. Or, you know, you'll just make a problem for another man. Meaning that she'll have, she'll bring all this emotional baggage that, from this dude. And then when she gets in a new relationship, then that's when she's un entitled, ungrateful, and stuff like that. But it really does depend, man. Before we go any further, make sure if you're new, subscribe to the damn channel. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. The goal is to get to... 250 subscribers by the end of january so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also share the video other than that let's just hop right back into it oh it smells so good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. baby i miss you i want to explain to you that i did not do anything yeah, wrong yeah to yeah you. yeah <laughs> yeah you know you know you know oh you think it's funny no, it's yeah, you think it's funny you it's think not it's funny, funny. You think it's funny? Yeah, I don't think you, it's funny. You, you also, no, you, you also. I don't give a fuck. You gonna have to do something. 
What what I just I don't some... know, you got to come with some cash. What? What? What do you say? You got you know what to do. What what I do? What you I know do what to do. What I do. Baby, I miss you, oh my god. I miss you so much. Oh my god, I miss you, oh my god. Oh I miss you. I wanna go with you. I wanna go with you. I want to go with you. From my own personal experience, one of the biggest things that you have to take into consideration about this type of uh, like attitude from, especially from women, is like, uh, <laughs> like uh, I'm not even trying to be a manipulator or toxic or anything like that. But if they're in this state, like I'm just straight up dead ass honest, if they're in this state, you can do a lot. And I'm not trying to be toxic. I'm not even trying to give anybody ideas, but they won't they won't mess around man they know what they have and see that's that's what i'm trying to say i'm trying to bring the positive and the light side to the situation is like they'll, they know what they got they know what they got and they know what to do anything to mess it up now depending you know just give everything time depending they might change the way they feel they may get less you know interested or attracted or whatever but some some especially for some relationships and couples who've been together for years if not decades on end and they still have that spark just like this it's simply because they i mean it's different for everybody in every relationship every person it's a different story but like for this one right here like they ain't gonna mess around so don't i'm telling you man this is how you make a villain this is how you make a superhero villain right here because if you do her wrong she's either gonna do something to you or the next guy along the way he's gonna get the, the brute force of it man it's just the, the realest it's the truth i miss you oh my god i want to tell you something i go to the club and i i don't want to but i don't want to tell what lady that you have spent time with her okay but i know something about you and i'm so disappointed i feel i feel that night i decide to go to the club I did not want to go looking for customer. I just want to go looking for you. I, I keep looking, looking. What the fuck? Where where he go? Where where have where you been? Where have you been? What you doing? You block me. I want to know the reason why. Why you block me? What I do something wrong to you? You know. What 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 I do something I wrong? Get into that right now. Who, who's the girl that said they know me? I'm not gonna say it. I yes. promise her. I promise her already. I cannot make. Okay. I cannot make. No, because people are lying. So I need to know what she's saying. Ah, uh, she said when when I meet her, okay, I never know that she go with you, and I like I like her the way. I don't. Want, what did she yeah, say? Yeah, and do? then I add her Facebook, and then I saw your Facebook come up, and then I ask, Do you know him? She said yes, you go with him. You she go with Like I said before, just just be careful and be safe who you're dealing with because at the end of the day, I don't know the whole logistics of this whole story and situation, but I gotta tell you right now, if you're with the girl and she's super sprung on you and I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about no honeymoon puppy love type. I'm talking about you're six months to a year, if not more so, in the relationship. And she's still sprung. She's still having it. I mean, that, these days, that's rare because of people being promiscuous and because just people not knowing how to be themselves because they don't know who they are first. A lot of people just jump around. They don't really care. But if you're in a relationship for months on end and this is the energy she's bringing, understand what you're dealing with because they will do they will let you get away with a lot until it gets to the point where they feel like you wronged them too bad and then like i said they will come after you slash your damn tires might slit your damn throat or like i said before they'll just be the problem for the next dude because then they're gonna be entitled and ungrateful now like i know i'm generalizing of course that's not all women but trust me if you have these type of emotions and for the first few times in your life you're giving them out just like this to you know any dude that you meet who you think is the one and you get slammed all the time sooner or later you're gonna you're gonna turn a damn villain i'm just gonna keep it real but let me know what you guys thought about the video down below let me know if you guys have been in this situation before and what you guys think make sure if you're new to the channel you subscribe and also share the video if you want me to react comment give you any type of advice hit me up at the dumb one speaks to jimmer.com that's where you can find me we are on the road to 250 subscribers by the end of january so make sure you subscribe to the damn channel 
other than that, man, just make sure you take care of your business. And if you have a girlfriend or you're talking to somebody and they're super sprung, be gentle. Take it slow. For a lot of you dudes up there, especially who, you know, ain't never had this type of attention before, you can ruin it because you'll cling on too hard or you'll be super needy too much and you can ruin that. So make sure you take it slow. Give her a little bit of piece of you, but don't be rude or too direct with your actions and the things that you do because you can turn a nice girl into a damn villain, man. It's been your boy, Webb. Peace. Mm -hmm.